this video from Sound Forest Help. We're taking a look at uh, tax or VAT programming in, on the NR500 series. So a couple of disclaimers up first. Well, in fact, three. The first thing is this machine's the 510R. So the 500 is a series of machines. I'm using the 510R. The 520R will have exactly the same keyboard, um, but with two printers instead of one. And then the flat keyboard machines. The overall programming protocols are the same that I'll show in this video, but the buttons you press might be slightly different because of the keyboard layout. Second um, disclaimer is I'm not the UK tax authority, so I'm not telling you how to program your VAT and tax settings. That's something you'll have to discuss with your accountant and be aware of and only program them as what's appropriate for your business. Um, and then the third thing is obviously I'm in the UK, so anyone watching overseas, obviously, again, you'll just have to make adapt what I do for your region's tax laws. Okay, so as standard on the machine, um, you've got four tax rates. None of them are programmed, they're all at zero, and none of them are applied to any of your products. So when you process a sale, this is a unprogrammed machine. The only programming I've done is to program the receipt header message so far. So my PLU is blank, it says PLU1, and there's no tax information on there. If I run an end of day report, Z reports, financial, Z1. Yeah, literally there's just that one pound sale has gone through there. So there's nothing else. There's no other information. There's nothing to do with tax on there. So what we're going to do in this video is show you quickly um, how to set tax rate one to be VAT and 20%. Um, and then how to apply that to your, crucially, how to apply that to your products. Okay, so once you know where it is, it's really easy to do, but obviously it's one of those things you, you, you've got to get it right, you can't get it wrong. So what I'd recommend is watching this video all the way through, checking that's going to work for your business, and then obviously editing what I do slightly, depending on your local tax rates. Um, so the first thing you'll need, in addition to the register and your knowledge of what tax rates you want to set up, is the P key, PGM key. That'll go all the way around to PGM mode. And then you're looking for the line that says taxes. So line seven, cash to enter. And then you get the option. So there's four tax rates on the machine. They're all set to zero as standard. Um, we're just gonna program one tax rate for now. In fact, no, actually let's do two. Um, because in the UK at the moment, there's with our standard tax rate is VAT rate is 20% add in. So if I'm a normal business, VAT registered business, and I sell something for a pound, of that pound, a certain percentage is VAT. Um, so that's the way we generally sell. There might be the odd case where if you're a business to business supplier or a trade counter, that you advertise the price in XVAT and then add the tax on in a different way. I'll show you how to do that in a, in a separate video. Okay, so tax rate one, we're gonna program tax rate one, so you simply press one, cash amount end, and then it comes up with the description. So we can go in there, and let's call that, you don't have to edit it, but I'm just gonna do it to show you how to do it. So you just, same way as you would have programmed your receipt header message or any PLU programming that you've done. Tax, space, pop in that. Yeah, that'll do, it's just a descriptor, so cash to save. So it's defaults to add on, which is incorrect for most UK businesses. You want it to be add in, or as they call it on this machine, I think they just call it VAT, yes, VAT straight out. Old fashioned tools would have said add in and add on. So add on is obviously if you sell something for um, a pound plus VAT, it adds the VAT on. VAT or add in is if you sell it for a pound and that pound includes your VAT. Okay, so cash to save, and then we of crucially need to pop your rate in. So my tax rate one, oop, cash to go into it. My tax rate one is going to be 20%. So it's two, zero, and then three zeros afterwards. So you get the full 20. Cash to save, clear to come back out of that. And then we're going to program tax rate two to be 20%.
space in fact if I backspace that I'm going to call this tax because it's a 5% I'm going to call it reduced or abbreviate reduced if I can find the R R D C okay again crucial to change it to be t VAT so it doesn't keep adding the VAT on um, we want to go into it 5.000 cash to save escape out so clear 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 and I'm just going to show you some crucial bit of programming you've set your tax rates up but they're still not recorded on your receipt and they won't be recorded on your end of day report either um, the next bit of program that's crucial is you go back to PGM mode and then go into your PLUs um, PLU 1 each PLU as standard is not taxed so you, when you program the PLUs you have to go in and change the no to yes as appropriate so if this PLU 1 is by tax rate 1 you've got to change that to yes um, I've done that, escape cancel to clear I've got another video showing full PLU programming so I'll go through that in more detail there. Let's say that department 12 is going to be our reduced one. So we need to go into there. Um, yes, no, hang on. See how easy it is to get it wrong. I don't want to program it by tax rate 1. I want to have yes on tax rate 2. Escape cancel to clear out of there. Now if we sell our PLUs, let's double check that's all you need to do. So I've got a pound into each of those departments, so I'm expecting some different tax information to come up. Um, let me show you that first of all. So we've got PLU1, T1 means it's in tax rate 1, so that's correct. PLU12 is in tax 2, so that's correct. So there's my name, my description, so tax VAT 17p. That's because the way VAT works is it's, it's an add-on tax, but the way we programmed it, the machine, is that our price has already done that calculation, so the one pound is actually 83p plus 20%. That's why you get 17 instead of 20. If we'd sold one pound 20 through the department, in fact, let's do that through the PLU, you'd get a more, you get one pound 20, tax rate one, and then 20p because it's a pound plus 20%. Um, then we go back to the first receipt. Where is it? There we go. We've then got our reduced rate one, so that's a pound. Um, PLU 12 tax two is a pound, but only at 5%, so that works out as 95p plus VAT. And if we do our end of day report, I'm now expecting some tax information to appear on there. Clear, 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 clear. And then key back to reg. If we have a look at that, it's obviously going to be a slightly weird one because I've done some sales before it was programmed. But we've then got our tax one sales, two pound twenty because I did that extra sale. Tax two sales is a pound, so our tax one is thirty seven p because the one pound was seventeen p. The one pound twenty was twenty p. That gets us our thirty seven p of tax. And then tax two, obviously we just did the pound through, and that's at five percent, so that's five p. Um, so yeah, that's um, how to program your tax rates on the 500. Um, so if you, I've got other videos showing you how to program the PLUs and how to get the best out of the machine. So I'd recommend checking those out. And obviously, as I said earlier, it's your responsibility to get the tax right on your till. These videos are just tutorials showing you how you can program it. They're not tax advice videos um, as such. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please check out our other videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.